Facebook Live, how you doing? My name is Gary Foy, I'm down here at the Seattle Goodwill today. Um, we're talking about DIY, do it yourself, repurpose, upcycle, all those words we're talking about today. The reason why we're talking about it today is because tomorrow, uh, we're having a special event here at the Seattle Dearborn location. Um, we're gonna be talking about DIY tips and tricks. It's from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And I'm gonna be talking a lot. Now, am I a DIY expert? No, afraid not, folks. But I have a huge garden, and I love to make DIY projects at my place. Um, and yes, I get most of my stuff here. And what does that look like? Well, that's a lot of sanding and spray paint and this and that, and it's about lifestyling. It's about being able to take all the great items out on the sales floor, which there's tons of them. I mean, it would take five, 10, 15 different stores to make the selection that we have. And I like to put things together and plant and grow stuff. Sometimes I eat it. I eat it a lot, actually. Um, today I'm going to do a little, uh, a little fun time bird feeder. Now, I, the reason why we're doing this one is I think it's cute and it's easy to do. So come on over. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple things on this table here. So we've got teacups and some glue, a little bit of uh, twine, and some sandpaper. And the finished project actually looks like this. And you hang it off a branch. It's just a cute, good old fashioned bird feeder. Now, the reason why I like this, because if you do four or five of them, they kind of look like uh, it's fairy time, right? It's like a fairy land. So I want to show you how we do this really quick and uh, what the finished product uh, could be. So you go to the sales floor here down, down at the Goodwill, you find yourself a good old uh, teacup and saucer, or you have one of these at home. Now I chose this one because it's got a little chip on it. So instead of throwing out that chipped one, well, let's, let's repurpose it. So you, you get it out here. Now one of the things you're gonna wanna do is um, you're gonna figure out where this goes, okay? Now you might have seen this before, somebody else do this, but uh, you wanna connect the points and wherever the points connect, you wanna sand, all right? And the reason why, you wanna have a good adhesion uh, with your epoxy or glue. So I know where it's gonna be, so I grab my sandpaper. It's a heavier grip. And I wanna sand it in that area get it roughed up pretty good and I want to do the same thing on the cup where it touched and the reason why I know kind of where it touched is because this is going to be upward so I want to do the bottom here and the bottom here sanding it's fun to watch on camera isn't it it's pretty good no I'm just, it's just sanding. so once that's done you grab your e6000 clear transparent flexible glue slash epoxy. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to throw a nice bead on the front and the back of it. Just like so, right where you sand it. Pretty simple, right? Nothing too hard. And just kinda of roll it around a little bit. Now, could I use something else besides the tip of this? Yeah, I'm a little messy, but it's okay. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do, honestly, is you just wanna match it up and then put something in there to hold it, to keep it in place while it dries. I use this little votive holder here. I'm going to set this right here and let it dry up. Now, usually you want to give it about 24 or 48 hours to do that. And then when you're done, I'm a big bird fan. Yeah, I love birds and I love finches. Um, so I always use the finch food. Any finch food will work. Um, you get to see your local hardware store or whatnot. And all you want to do is. This one's completed already, glued, ready to go. Grab a little bit of bird food, and you just wanna pep put it inside, nice and simple. And yeah, you spill some on the ground, but that's okay. Perfect like that. Seal up that bird food. Grab yourself some good old fashioned twine, nothing too expensive. Get it long enough to where you think, hey, I want it to hang, you know, X amount of feet. And then all I do is tie it around the handle. Give it a good couple knots. And then there you go. It's the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna trim this off. Give it a little bit more of a tug, but yeah. And there you got yourself a good old-fashioned bird feeder. And it's pretty cute. And if you got a 
you know, older uh, teacup and saucer, you can recycle and or upscale. So, tomorrow's event. It's about patio, garden, indoor, outdoor even. Um, but we, what we're gonna talk about next is, is how to kind of mash it all up. Using things that you might see, uh, you're like, uh, I didn't really know I could do that with that. But that's the whole thing. It, I call it the Frankenstein effect. Where you just put one piece and one piece and it comes out pretty fun. Let's go to this guy here. This is your uh, classic uh, coat rack, colander, planting station. Now, uh, this one I saw on the internet on a couple different levels. I saw some people just using this by itself, which is really cute, you can hang. And, you know, obviously we've seen uh, people use big planters and they put stuff in that comes out, but I decided to mix it all together. So I, I took a coat rack, put it all the way in the bottom, put some gravel in to stabilize it, and then put some dirt in it to keep it kind of stable so it doesn't uh, move much. Planted something kind of tall, like these peppers, and then went straight to these guys, spray painted some cool colors I, I thought were pretty great, and then just planted some awesome edibles. Um, I, I did put some weed liner in there to kind of keep everything solid, but it is metal, um, and I didn't spray paint the inside too much, so you could put some edibles, or you could put some beautiful flowers in there as well. And what's nice about this is that it's on wheels too, right? So if you live, you have that apartment living lifestyle and you got a patio and you don't want to bring something big or set up something too heavy you can't remove, this is awesome because you can move this guy. Um, and the same thing goes for even like something like that too. You put casters on things or wheels and it's great for apartment living on your patio because you can move it around. Um, and that's what we're going to be talking a lot about is like how to do it in your apartment and your home. So uh, once again, my name is Gary Foy, uh, DIY person. And uh, tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. down here at the Seattle Goodwill, we're gonna be talking DIY, do it yourself, and tips and tricks on how to make this stuff easy, fun, and enjoyable. So hey, if you like this uh, Facebook Live, give us a like, share it with your friends, and I'm calling out all you DIY folks. I wanna see some pictures posted up on this. Um, I follow this, so I'd like to see what you guys got going on out there. I'm an amateur, I'd like to see what else we can do. So uh, thanks for having me today, and I'll talk to you later.